escapes. Now let's have some attacks. We're working on armbar, correct? Setting up armbar, reacting to the escapes last time. This time we're just going to straight up set up attack. Right? First one we're going to do, nice and easy. Get that hand in there nice and deep like, right? Get my cross collar grip, right? Starting with a basic cross collar toe. I'm going to plant my hand on the ground, right? My fist is on the ground, my weight's on my arm, right? That way if he tries to bridge me or he tries to pull my hand, I can keep his shoulders relatively isolated, okay? My second hand is going to come underneath the first one and into his collar, thumb up, right? Fingers in, thumb up. I get that hand in there. I'm going to roll my wrists so that they're facing each other, palms are facing up, pulling my elbows backwards, and I'm pulling him up to me, okay? I'm not going down to him for the first one, right? I may have to take some time here, right? Shake the baby. Get that collar. Just keep, don't shake baby. Right? I get that collar loose, right? I like to start my wrist flat and then turn it to straight, all right? There are some schools, they will tell you that is absolutely wrong, okay? They'll tell you that you want to get that grip and you want to immediately start creating pressure, okay? If it works, it's right. You guys know me, I'm not that guy, okay? I like to have that hand a little bit looser to start because then I can add the pressure later. Does that make sense? You guys figure out what works for you. If you don't have a strong grip, right, and you don't have strong wrists, you're having a hard time turning that key at the end, then starting with your wrist already solidified is gonna help, okay? If you've got a good strong turn and you can curl that wrist in and turn the wrist at the end, great, then you can start a little bit looser and it, they don't panic nearly as much as when you're putting that forearm into the collarbone. Make sense? One more time, I get a nice deep collar grip. I wanna be behind his head, right? Second hand's coming underneath that hand. Okay, my fingers should be touching the hand behind his neck right here, right? There, I turn my wrist so that my palms are facing up, straighten out so that I'm on the other side of him, and then I lift. Right? Bring him up to me. You don't scissors, you just lift? No, I pull my elbows backwards. If I scissors, good question, right? If I scissor my elbows, he's just gonna squeeze my elbows together. Now I can't solidify. If I pull backwards, now my body's in the way. He can't pull those, push those hands apart. Good question. Anything else? Right? There are two on top, the two on the bottom. You guys continue your rotation. One, two, three.